The last icon of evolution that I wrote about, I called the ultimate icon. It's the famous ape to human progression. And the reason I call it the ultimate icon is because it's the one that really matters to someone who wants to tell a Darwinian tale, that is a, a tale about how we came here accidentally as a byproduct of material causes. So typically the icon shows a hunched over chimpanzee-like creature gradually morphing into an ape man and then a modern human. There's many forms of this icon. You can find it everywhere, including many textbooks. But the evidence for the ape to human icon is surprisingly thin. We have a great fossil record of shellfish, uh, of various other kinds of animals, but we do not have a great record, fossil record, of the creatures that supposedly provided the transitions between fossil apes or ape-like creatures in modern humans. There are some fossils, yes, but uh, what happens really, and experts in the field of human paleoanthropology have said as much, we start with a story. The story is that apes or ape-like creatures evolved into humans. We find things to plug in there. For example, before Darwin had any evidence at all of any of this, his friend and defender, Thomas Huxley, used a series of skeletons of, of apes that supposedly showed a progression up to the human skeleton. Well, these are all modern apes. They're not ancestors and descendants, and he didn't claim they were. But just this mere comparison of similarities, which I pointed out earlier uh, in the chapter on hom homology, does not really distinguish between common ancestry and common design. This pattern of morphing into the human skeleton then had to be filled in over the years with various fossils that were turned up mostly in Africa. What's funny is that many of these fossils can be interpreted in various ways, to look various ways. Uh, often a fossil uh, which is initially proclaimed to be, you know, the, the key to the whole story is either fake in the case of uh, Piltdown Man, which was a complete fraud, or the fossil turns out to be a, a part of a different branch of the primate evolutionary tree. In 2009, uh, a fossil was widely advertised as being you know, an important link in the ancestry of humans. Uh, the, the scientific name was uh, Darwinius Massillae, and it was nicknamed Ida and uh, got a lot of press. <clears throat> it, uh, it, it actually looks like a small cat. It's a, it's a lemur, which is a primate, although not an ape. And uh, it turns out that they started the promotional campaign six months or so before announcing the fossil in the scientific literature. So they had this big promo campaign plan for Ida. They put out the evidence and almost immediately evolutionary biologists began attacking it. They said, this is nonsense. This is not part of the human evolutionary tree. Uh, this might be important in deciding one minor issue in primate evolution, having to do with the classification of lemurs. Uh, but it's not an ancestor of human beings. It had no descendants, for one thing. Uh, and so the fossil was quickly discarded. And almost immediately, they had another one to take its place, called Ardi, Artipithecus ramidus, which is a much more plausible one to stick into the story, but which has also been known for 15 years. Why did it all of a sudden become, you know, the, the subject of all this hype? Obviously, there's much more to the ape to human icon than just scientific evidence. In all these cases, we have a story that's in need of evidence. And so whatever fossil turns up that appears to fit that story is hyped and milked for as much as Darwinists can get out of it. And then maybe something else turns up and gets the news after that. The thing that bothers me most about the idea of an ape-like creature evolving into a, into a human is we have no mechanism, no plausible mechanism to explain that. The evidence we have for natural selection shows only changes within existing species. The evidence we have for mutations 
doesn't get us new organs or body plans. So the idea that this evolution could happen, to me, rests mostly on the claim that there's a mechanism and we don't have that. Barring that, it's just a story into which we insert various pictorial illustrations. And that's what the Ape to Human icon is about.